Domino's is crushing it in India. It entered the country in 1995, and since then, it's expanded rapidly. There are over 1,300 Domino's across 282 cities in India, and its footprint continues to grow. Domino's has a market share of more than 70%. Domino's in India is even testing delivery in 20 minutes or less. That's made it difficult for Pizza Hut and Papa John's to compete. And even local Indian pizza rivals haven't been able to match Domino's success. So what is Domino's doing that is so different from the competition? It's localized its product offerings, but probably the biggest differentiator, just like in the US, Domino's is winning the pizza war in India because it offers fast delivery and sophisticated ordering technology. Domino's success has made it more difficult for other chains to flourish. Papa John's left India in 2017, closing 66 stores according to its 2017 financial filings. And Pizza Hut's footprint has stayed relatively small compared to Domino's, despite its early entry to the market. On March 24, 2020, India announced a 21-day lockdown during the coronavirus outbreak. Instead of closing its stores across the country, Domino's India offers zero contact delivery and pickup to its customers. According to the chain's website, Domino's India has taken strategic steps to stop the spread of coronavirus by making sure company employees pass medical checks, temperature screenings for employees before entering restaurants, sanitizing protocols for equipment, bags, and delivery boxes every four hours, and employees must wash their hands every hour. Pizza Hut has offered similar contactless delivery, but the brand is still outnumbered by Domino's store count it has across the subcontinent. So how has Domino's won India's pizza war? The pizza market in India is valued at over $1.5 billion. That's small compared to the U.S. market, which is worth $46.7 billion. Still, the market is huge considering the huge population that India has. But when Domino's and Pizza Hut started operations in India in 1995 and 1996 respectively, the pizza market was much smaller. It wasn't until July 1991 that India's leaders decided to open up its economy, marking the beginning of globalization. India removed subsidies on some items, lowered some import duties, and invited foreign competition in. With globalization came American brands like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, and Domino's. When international pizza chains entered India in the 1990s, some experts say it wasn't immediately compatible with local tastes. Pizza in India strikes a delicate balance between being too foreign and not foreign enough. They've been able to kind of walk the tightrope or the balancing act between um, localizing to an extent that is definitely needed to be successful in the Indian market. Um, but again, but but being able to balance that with, you know, being perceived as, you know, the, the, the top pizza brand in the U.S. and globally, not just in India, that brings a lot of credibility to the brand and, and is why a lot of people want to uh, uh, want to have it in comparison to others. Domino's success is also thanks to India's huge millennial population. In general, millennials are more likely than their older counterparts to eat food from a restaurant, use technology, travel, and embrace new foods. Millennials account for about two-thirds of the population in India. And research shows that Indian millennials love eating out, spending three times as much on restaurant visits than other forms of entertainment. Nielsen research found that middle-income urban millennials spend roughly 10% of their food budget on eating at restaurants. That's significantly higher than the 3% spent by their Gen X counterparts. As pizza's popularity grows, Domino's has found a huge market in India. As of the end of 2019, India is Domino's second largest market after the U.S. It's a different story for Pizza Hut. Its business in India makes up a small fraction of Pizza Hut's overall business. The country accounts for just 1% of system sales. China, on the other hand, accounts for 17% of Pizza Hut sales. More and more local restaurants are starting to offer pizza too. 
uh, let's say the top 10 cities in India, you would have at least seven to eight brands of pizza which are there and who would offer at least about, who would operate at least five stores in that city. But experts say no Indian chains are on the verge of becoming national chains. Most are small and privately held, so they're not competing on a national level with American chains. In India, there appears to be a lot of room for growth in the pizza industry. Domino's local franchise, Jubilant Foodworks, had sales of $510 million in fiscal year 2018, 18% higher than the previous year, according to FactSet. In fact, Jubilant Foodworks sales have seen double-digit growth for 13 out of the last 14 fiscal years. Jubilant Foodworks also runs Dunkin' in India and operates its own Chinese food chain. But pizza is the company's most profitable business segment by far, making up 78% of its revenue, according to FactSet. Domino's footprint in India is huge compared to its rival Pizza Hut, which has 430 restaurants, according to its website. Domino's has 1,325 stores across 282 cities as of December 31st, 2019. And it's been adding stores steadily across new cities. They are in about 200 plus cities in India. And uh, if I look at the potential, they have the potential of expanding to about 500 cities in the country. So that's fairly substantial. Papa John's entered India nearly a decade and a half after its rivals Domino's and Pizza Hut had come onto the scene. By the time Papa John's expanded into India, some experts say it was already too late. By the time Papa John's entered the uh, Indian industry, uh, Domino's and uh, Pizza Hut have already established their footprints and many of the consumers used to prefer uh, uh, Domino's and Pizza Hut over Papa John's because uh, of the affordability. Papa John's was priced higher. Papa John's tried to close the gap in 2014 by acquiring Pizza Corner, a South Indian chain. At the time of the deal, Papa John's had 15 stores through its master franchisee for the region, a company called Own Pizza and Eats. Papa John said the acquisition of Pizza Corner would expand its presence by at least 40 restaurants. Papa John's had restaurants in 11 Indian cities, according to its Twitter account. Its stores were concentrated in the southern and western parts of the country. But some experts say it was a mistake not to branch out to more rural cities. India is a massive country in both population and size. Part of Domino's strategy to familiarize Indians with the brand was expanding to smaller cities and rural areas, not just one region. Developing a restaurant network at a national level in India is challenging due to its huge size and cultural differences between states, but Domino's made it work. Domino's has invested heavily in um, rural areas and not just the cities, and I do think that is an important point as to why they have been successful, in particular in comparison to their competitors, their main competitors such as Pizza Hut and Papa John's. Having access to something like pizza is like having access to the rest of the world, feeling like you're a part of global consumer culture and that you can try something that's different. It has a tremendous amount of symbolic value and I think Domino's has recognized that and that people are willing to kind of pay for that. Papa John shut its indie operations in 2017, according to local media reports. Experts say Papa John just couldn't stand out against the competition. In the U.S., Domino's won the Pizza Wars thanks to delivery and tech innovation. It's a similar narrative in India. India has a huge population of internet users, second only to China. That number is expected to grow, fueled by the declining cost of data and smartphones. In developing economies like India, smartphones are a cheaper option than personal computers. All this means that the Indian market is perfect for smartphone apps. Domino's franchisee Jubilant Foodworks says it was the first food service company to launch online and mobile ordering nationally in India. Analysts agree and say that Domino's introduced the online ordering culture. And as of January 2020, nearly 30 million people downloaded Domino's mobile ordering app.
if you look at a market like in, in india uh, uh, internet is mostly used through mobiles so mobile penetration is very high compared to that of uh, uh, a laptop or a desktop so uh, dominos were very quick to launch a mobile app and they also see a high uh, ordering rate from the mobiles in 2013 online and mobile orders contributed about 17% of delivery sales at dominos by the end of fiscal year 2019 online ordering contributed 75% of delivery sales Domino's has stood out in the Indian delivery market, guaranteeing customers free pizza if a delivery takes 30 minutes or longer. Domino's even tested a 20 minutes or less delivery guarantee in some Indian cities and offers all-night delivery in multiple cities. While Domino's has succeeded in delivery and with its mobile app, experts say Pizza Hut was focused more on dining in, just like it has in the US. Some consumers prefer that, but it means that Pizza Hut needs to rent large and usually more expensive real estate to offer seating. I may have to travel to a particular point in the city just to, you know, eat at a Pizza Hut or a Pizza Express. Uh that at times uh takes away from the, you know, the desire to go there or, you know, just order in and you're more comfortable. While many fast food brands look to China for growth, Domino's has struggled there. The company attributes that to the fact that cheese and bread aren't part of a traditional Chinese diet. In India, the pizza chain hasn't had that problem. Domino's tries to make sure its menu is well suited to every country it expands into. In addition to offering American staples like sausage and veggie, Domino's India serves pies topped with familiar ingredients like chicken tikka, paneer cheese, and red paprika. Chicken is the most popular meat in India, and Hindus don't eat beef, which is why chicken dominates the online menu at Domino's. It's even hyper-localized its products by region, adding menu items more suited to taste in certain states. For instance, in 2014, South Indian customers got a spicy banana pizza. Green bananas are often used in traditional South Indian dishes. Domino's localized more than its menu. It tailored each restaurant to local conditions too. In small cities where people eat out as a family, the restaurants are larger and have space for customers dining in. In another huge differentiator, Domino's offers pies at a lower price than Pizza Hut. See when they launched in the 1990s not very many people wanted to have a pizza so you had to bring them to the level of acceptability that you know you come in and have a pizza or you order a pizza also if you look at the kind of prices that are there uh domino's does offer pizzas which would be for i think if i have to put it across in american dollar terms which would be less than a dollar Middle class consumer spending is on the rise in India. That means they'll be spending more on food and beverages, two times more according to World Economic Forum estimates. India is Domino's second largest market behind only the US and its business is growing fast there. 